हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम आई एम आदि चवर्धन फ्रॉम आदि केमिस्ट्री डॉट कॉम वरंगल इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स इजीली बाय यूजिंग शॉर्टकट फॉर्मूले फॉर एनर्जी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इन बोर्स ऑर्बिट ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एटम एंड द केमिकल स्पीशीज व्हिच आर आइसो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक विद हाइड्रोजन एटम इफ यू आर सर्चिंग फॉर टाइम सेविंग टिप्स फॉर आई आई नीट आई जैम सी एस नेट and get exams then this video is for you okay now we will jump straightly into the equation part look at this equation that is the base equation which is used to calculate the energy of nth orbit in hydrogen atom or any species that is isoelectronic with hydrogen atom except z and n all other terms are constants hence upon substituting the values for constants we will arrive at minus 13.6 z square divided by n square electron volts this is a shortcut formula for energy of nth orbit where z is atomic number while n is the principal quantum number of the given orbit in which the electron is residing and don't forget that this equation is only applicable to atoms or ions which are isoelectronic with hydrogen atom like he+ plus, li2+ plus, b3+ plus, etc so what do you mean by isoelectronic the isoelectronic species contain same number of electrons for example you know that hydrogen atom contains only one electron and look at he+ plus, li2+ plus and b3+ plus, you will find only one electron in them also hence these are isoelectronic with hydrogen atom now we will apply this equation to find the energy of electron in hydrogen atom for hydrogen atom the atomic number z is equal to 1 hence we can modify this equation into en is equal to minus 13.6 divided by n square electron volts upon substituting the principal quantum numbers of atomic orbits for n in this equation we get energy values for electrons in different orbits these are tabulated as shown on the screen for the first orbit n is equal to 1 and the energy associated with this orbit is minus 13.6 electron volts for the second orbit the energy is minus 3.4 electron volts this clearly indicates the energy of electron increases as we move away from the nucleus and becomes zero in the infinite orbit where there is no attraction between the nucleus and electron it is also important to know that the energy difference between successive orbits decreases as we move away from the nucleus you can clearly see the difference in energy between first and second orbit is 10.2 electron volts while it is just 1.89 electron volts between the second and third orbits and this trend continues as we move away from the nucleus now let us move on to the energy of electron in he+ plus ion since z is equal to 2 for helium we can modify the equation into en is equal to minus 54.4 divided by n square electron volts again upon substituting the principal quantum numbers of atomic orbits for n in this equation we get energy values for electrons in different orbits for he+ plus ion you can find them on the screen for the first orbit the energy is minus 54.4 electron volts which is less than in case of hydrogen atom due to increase in the nuclear charge you know that there are two protons in helium and don't be confused minus 54.4 is less than 
minus 13.6. You can also find the energy associated with orbits increases with increase in the n value and reaches 0 at infinite orbit. Again, you can also see the difference between successive orbits decreases as we move away from the nucleus. Now, one interesting fact about ionization energy. You know that it is the energy required to remove an electron from an atom or ion in the ground state. In the ground state, the electron resides in the lowest possible orbit, that is the first orbit. After ionization, there is no attraction between the electron and the nucleus. That means, the electron is said to be in the infinite orbit and the energy associated is equal to zero. Therefore, logically, the ionization energy is the energy difference between the infinite orbit and the first orbit. That means, the ionization energy is equal to the negative of the energy associated with the first orbit. Ok, now let us see the ratio between energies of first four orbits. It is equal to 1 by n1 square is to 1 by n2 square is to 1 by n3 square is to 1 by n4 square or you can say it is uh, 1 is to 1 by 4 is to 1 by 9 is to 1 by 16. So, you can extend uh, this ratio to 5th, 6th, 7th uh, likewise. Now, let us solve few problems. First problem is the energy of an electron in the first Bohr's orbit of Be3 plus ion is. Few options are given. Now, let us see how to solve this problem. You know that the energy of uh, electron in the nth orbit is given by minus 13.6 z square divided by n square electron volts. Here for beryllium z is equal to 4 and for first orbit n is equal to 1. By plugging these values, we will get 217.6 electron volts. This is the energy of first orbit in beryllium 3 plus ion. And now the second problem. Here, the energy of electron in the first excited state of helium plus is asked for. Few options are given again. So, from our equation, the energy of uh, electron in any given orbit is equal to minus 13.6 z square by n square electron volts. And we know that first excited state is nothing but the second orbit that is n is equal to 2 and we know for helium z is equal to 2 and n is also 2. So, this is simply minus 13.6 electron volts. Now, the third problem, the ionization energy of lithium 2 plus ion is, again few options are given. And we know that ionization energy is uh, negative of uh, energy of first orbit. So, for first orbit we know n is equal to 1 and for lithium z is equal to 3. So, that is all. It is equal to 122.4 electron volts. So, this is not negative, it is negative of negative. So, that is why we got 122.4 electron volts. Now, it is uh, the time to test your understanding. You have to choose the incorrect statement among the following. The first statement is energy of electron increases with n value for a given atom. 
statement B energy of electron decreases with Z value for a given orbit statement C energy of electron increases with the radius of orbit for a given atom and final statement the ratio of energies of orbits in hydrogen atom is not same as that of helium plus ion so you have to choose the incorrect statement that's all for today visit adhikemistry.com for more information and for more practice questions you can also search for the keywords Adi chemistry energy orbit on google to reach the specific page for this topic all the best i hope you enjoyed this presentation don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video if you have any question or query please write in the comment section